Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your forgotten Windows 11 password using Ubuntu Live. So basically, uh, for this purpose, I'm going to use the uh, virtual machine where I have already installed Windows 11 inside it. And you can see that basically, uh, I have already attached the Ubuntu ISO to it. And uh, if I have to go, so here you can see that Ubuntu is attached. And if I have to log out outside of it, you will see that I have already, uh, so this account has already a password for it. So hold on a moment. <coughs> Sorry for that. Okay, now if I have to type anything and press enter, you can see that it's saying the password is incorrect. So remember that I also know the, uh, Basically, the user is known as a boss. So for now, attach uh, first step one. You have to make a bootable USB of Ubuntu. You can use a Rufus for it. Uh, then after that one, you have to attach the uh, bootable USB to your computer, and then uh, we go. So for now, I'm going to basically let me make it full screen. Yeah. For now, suppose that I have already attached the USB flash drive to the computer and now I'm going to boot my PC into the USB. So, uh, click on the power button and now click restart. It's going to uh, start the computer into the advanced startup option where from where we can configure other settings the way we want it to be. It's going to take a while. So, hold on please. Okay, once you are here, you have to choose use a USB drive. Uh, remember that uh, if you are uh, using, uh, if, you are, if you have pressed the key of your computer, you won't be at this section. So basically there won't be anything needed. Now, once you are here, you have to select Ubuntu, which is the first one, and then press enter on the keyboard. And it's going to uh, launch the Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu installation page. So from there, we will try live edition of Ubuntu. Okay, we are on the installation page. Uh, from here, you have to choose Try Ubuntu. <clears throat> okay, once we are here, you have to open the uh, Ubuntu software. Oops, I'm really sorry, not the software, but the settings. So I'm really, really sorry about that one. So from here, you have to click on the uh, wire icon and then choose settings. Remember that you must be connected to the internet. Uh, and after that one, you have to go the about section. And from there, you have to go to the software updates. Here you can see that there is more option. Click on it. And from here, you will see that these are basically the software and updates. You have to check this one, community maintained free and open source software universe. Now click close. Now reload, it's going to refresh the software cache. Basically, it's going to take a while.
okay once it is done you can close it and now go to the open the home directory choose other locations and from here here you can see that basically the drive sorry yeah, the, the drive we are windows and install you will see that it is here and it is the iso of the ubuntu so we have to open this one and from there you have to go to the windows directory uh, you can also search from here but i'm not going to do that instead i will be uh, going through them uh, one manually maybe so where is system 32 here it is once you are inside system 32 you have to go to the uh, inside the config directory so where the moment it is going to load because there are a lot of system files available inside the system 32 and it's going to take a while to load them okay once you are here you have to open this directory known as config and now right click on it and choose open in terminal okay now that we are here we need to install uh, this tool Inst sorry sudo apt get install chn ppw and now it is downloaded okay uh, if you remember at the beginning of the video i told you that you have to remember your user name so basically your user account so Now, this is the command basically you can use uh, to access the same file uh, so you have to type uh, this command and then issue for the user and your username so for now let's go ahead and begin uh, the process which is uh, chnpw su boss and then sam and now we are here so from here you will see that basically it is showing every detail about the user known as a boss and uh, among them here you can see that basically user edit menu now here you can see it is the first option which is clear blank user password so we have to type one and press enter it seems that nothing is happened but we have to this time type q and press enter and now we can see that it's saying that hives that have changed so you have to simply type y and press enter and now you can see that the same has removed so we are done you have to close all of them and go to re uh, sorry restart uh, your computer and also make sure that you have to remove uh, the bootable usb uh, of the windows 11 uh, sorry the ubuntu let me i have to go there and remove them and make it again full screen yeah, that is all so at the moment until it should be booted normally into the windows and then we'll see if there is a password or no So here you can see that there is no password and it is signing in without anything at all so basically this is how you can reset your forgotten windows password using ubuntu live cd so i hope you have liked this uh, tutorial do not forget uh, do not forget to subscribe into guide youtube channel and visit my website into zoom.com so have a nice day goodbye take care goodbye